it's old Coach Gears here with you, getting ready to start another ninja class online for you guys. We got a good class today. We're gonna work on a lot of kicks. So we're gonna be stretching our legs out, doing a lot of push kicks, a lot of round kicks. We're gonna work on kicking with our front leg and with our back leg. First, we gotta start it out like we always do. So touch those feet all the way together, hands to the sides, say, sir, and bow for respect. Very nice. Hands up like this, wiggle your fingers for me. Wrist circles just like this, very nice. Chop it up with some karate chops. And the arms out to the sides, big arm circles. Good, now you can do some backwards arm circles. Very nice. How about a scissors? Don't chop your body off. Good, all the way across. Stretch those shoulders, those chests out, stretch your back out with those big arm scissors. And now make sure your feet are opened up nice and wide. You're gonna twist side to side, making sure that you twist your toes, but don't turn your toes over. Keep your toenails facing the ceiling the whole time. Just like that. This is gonna be really important today. I'm gonna to tell you guys on a couple of these kicks that you have to spin your toes. And this is what I'm talking about, right here. Hands on your hips, bring it around the town. Very nice. Put your feet all the way together and your hands down here. You can bring it around, tiny town. We're gonna stand way up tall on our tippy toes and back down low. And all the way up tall, back down, feet all the way together, hands to the sides, frozen like a popsicle, sir, and bow for respect. All right, now we're gonna get into our exercises. The first exercise is our jumping jacks, so make sure you remember how to do them. You gotta jump and make an A, jump, and make an I, jump twice and make an A, I, and then we gotta do it 10 times, count one, sir, Two, sir, all the way to ten, sir, with me like a team. Ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. And ten, sir. Put your hands out in the front. Open up your feet a little bit like this. Now we're going to squat way down low and stand all the way back up tall, nice and strong. Ten squats. Since we are doing so much kicking today, really try to keep your feet flat on the floor. When you squat, you want to imagine you're sitting down in a tiny chair. You see how I keep my feet flat on the floor? Don't do tippy toe squats. Do squats with your feet flat. All the way down and all the way up. We always say to put your hands in the front, for good balance because ninjas never fall down. Hands out like this, all the way down, all the way up. Don't get out squatted by the old man. Ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Keep those feet flat. Ten, sir. All right. One foot in the front, one foot in the back, hands on the floor. Feet are gonna switch back and forth for the mountain climbers. I'll turn sideways so you can watch my feet switching. Big switches, count with me. Let's stick together like a team. Ready, set, go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. And ten, sir. Very nice. You're looking tough. Just a few more exercises to go. I'm kind of tired. I could use a little break. Let's lay it down. But no breaks. Exercises. Almost finished. Bring them to your belly. Stretch them out. Never let them touch the floor. Just bring them up and out. Count them like a team. Ready, set, go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, 
sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. And 10, sir. We want to bend our knees this time. Put our feet nice and flat and strong on the ground. We don't want our feet stretched out, but we don't want to be crazy and have our feet all weird underneath like this. It's not comfortable. We want our feet on the ground where they're the strongest. Our heels really close to our bottom. Our hands are together like we're gonna say a prayer and we're gonna make our thumbs touch our chest like this. We call this prayer position because it kind of looks like you're saying a prayer. Super simple, just keep your hands right here and lift your belly straight in the sky and then just put it back down. Don't do a million bajillion itty bitty fast bumps. Mm -mm. Just 10, super big, strong, slow, mighty, high in the sky, straight bumps. 10 of them, ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. And 10, sir. Very nice. Last exercise, let's work out the big guns. I want you to keep your backs as flat as a board. Put your feet on the ground with your toes, strong power toes. Put your hands right by your shoulders. Now you gotta keep your back as flat as you can. And you wanna hold yourself up strong like a table. All you have to do now is bend your arms. If your belly bends, it's not a good push-up. So don't let your belly bend. That might mean you can only bend your arms just a little bit. Because if you start to bend them too much, your belly might start to bend. So stop, straighten everything back out and don't bend your arms any further. Only bend your arms as far as you can without your belly bending. If you can't bend your arms at all, then all I want you to do is hold it as strong as you can and count with us still like a team. Now we call that a plank. We're gonna do a lot of planks today to get our shoulders and our bellies super strong, okay? If you're not strong enough to bend your arms for the push-ups, just hold yourself strong just like this, like a table. This is called the plank. If you are strong enough though, I wanna see you bend your elbows as far as you can. Backs flat like a board. 10 super tough push-ups. Ready, set, go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. 10, sir. You guys are looking tough. I hope you're feeling strong. I'm feeling pretty strong. Now, we're gonna get through one more little warm up here and work on a few of our kicks. So first, let's practice kicking with our front leg. So, feet all the way together, hands to the sides, frozen like a popsicle, sir, bow. All right, action stance, Make sure one foot is in the front. This front foot is the foot you're gonna kick with the whole time. The first kick we're gonna do is a push kick. Can you say cat stance? Cat stance. That's when you take your front foot and you tap it like this. Now all you have to do is keep your hands up and pick your knee up high and then stretch your kick out and set it back down. You just tap and then kick and set it back down. Tap and kick, tap and kick. Now, try to stand tall and straight without even letting this leg move at all. Look, it doesn't even move. It just stays right there. And then when I pick this one up, I still stand as strong as I can. I'm gonna face the mirror or the camera again. Let's do two more good ones. Last one. Good. Now, switch your feet. 
Now we're going to take this foot and do the same thing. Pick it up and stretch it out like a high five with your foot. Boop. Right there. Keep it tapping. We call this cat stance. Push kick. Cat stance. Push kick. Cat stance. Push kick. One more time. Push kick. All right. You guys look good. Now let's do an exercise to stretch our shoulders and our belly muscles and backs out, okay? We're gonna do the plank, and this is called a plank reach out. So it's really easy, watch. I'm gonna put my hands on the floor just like this. I'm gonna put my feet on the floor just like this. I'm gonna take one hand and I'm gonna go, one, sir. And then I'm gonna reach my other hand out, two, sir. And I'm just reaching straight in front of me. Now here's a little trick. Take your feet and open them up nice and wide. Kind of like you're gonna do a bear crawl. Look at my feet, nice and wide like this. So when I pick up a hand, I don't lose my balance, okay? So open your feet up nice and wide. Hands on the ground, feet on the ground. Count with me, pick one hand. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. All right, that was pretty good. Very nice. Now, let's get back to some kicking. Now, we did our push kick first. We picked our leg up and we kicked straight out. So, if we do a push kick on a target, we use the bottom of our foot to hit. Almost like you're going to put a footprint right on it. Now we're going to change the kick. It's not going to be a push kick. Instead, it's going to swing like a baseball bat. And when you swing a baseball bat, you don't poke them with the end. You hit them with the, the long part. So don't poke with the end. That's a push kick. Instead, hit them with the long part. Like a round kick. So here's how we do that. Touch your feet together, sir. Bow for respect. Open your feet up just a little bit. Pick one of your legs. It doesn't matter because we're going to do both. So pick the leg you want to kick with first. I'm going to kick with this one first. So it goes in the front. Now there's one extra trick. The trick to the push kick is the cat stance. When you do a push kick, you go tap, 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 push kick, right? Well, the trick to the round kick is a little different. You see my foot right here? My toes are pointed this way. I'm going to turn my toes until they're pointed that way. So you see these toes? Turn. Now they stay right there. That is not the kicking leg. That's the standing leg. This is the kicking leg. Because I turned my toes, this leg can kick high in the sky and it swings around the side. Keep your hands on your cheeks. Let's do 10 kicks with this leg, ready? Round kick. Do it again, say, round kick. One more time, say, round kick. Now this time, say, roundhouse kick. Yeah, it's called a roundhouse kick because your leg is gonna swing around the house. Give me another roundhouse kick. Oh, that's a pretty good one. One more time. Good. Now, give me a roundhouse. Same thing, roundhouse. One more time. Now, give me the best one you got. Hands on your cheeks, but this time when you kick, you're going to say, Kia. Ready? Go. Kia. Now, you see your feet? Switch your feet. Take your foot in the back. Turn your toes. Take your foot in the front. Swing it around the house for the roundhouse kick. Just like that. Say roundhouse kick. Say roundhouse kick. Say roundhouse. Roundhouse. Say round kick. Say round kick. Very good. Put your feet all the way together. Sir. And bow for respect. Very nice. So we did some good push kicks. We did some good round kicks. 
but we were always kicking with our front leg. That was awesome. Let's take a little break. Let's do some exercises, get those muscles rocking again. So we were working on our plank and we did a reach out where we reached straight out in front. Now we're gonna do our plank again, but this time we're gonna reach for the sky. So this is gonna be like Woody from Toy Story. Reach for the sky. And then we're gonna do it on our other side. Now remember, when you do these planks and you have to lift your hands up off the ground, it's easiest if you open up your feet and your hands almost like you're in a bear crawl, okay? So I'm gonna do this one facing you. I've got my feet opened up nice and strong. I'm gonna put my hands out there nice and strong and I'm gonna be like Woody from Toy Story. Reach for the sky. And then I'm gonna put it back down and I'm gonna reach for the sky, right? And then I'm gonna go, there's a snake in my boots. Ah, oh wait. Sorry, I got a little carried away with the Toy Story. Sorry about that, okay. Been a, little, been a little crazy. Okay, let me get that out of All right, here we go. We're gonna do 10 reaches, and we're gonna count them the same way. One, sir, two, sir. The plank, reach up. Or the old Woody from Toy Story, reach for the sky. Here we go, feet on the ground, hands on the ground. Let's go, ready, take this on. One, sir, two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Last one, ten, sir. All right, baby, you're looking tough. Now we're going to get into using our back leg. So the whole beginning of class, we did all of our kicks with our front leg. If we wanted to kick with our other leg, what do we do? Well, we switched our feet, and then it's in the front. Now I can kick with the front leg. Well, here's the deal. You don't always have to kick with the front. Sometimes you can kick with the back. And there's two things that happen when you kick with the back. You either kick and move, or you kick and stay. And I'll explain. Before we do that, let's take one Little step backwards, and let's work on our action steps. Stand as frozen as a popsicle, say, sir. Bow for respect, get into your action step, stance, just like this. Now we're gonna work on the action step. It's just one step. So all you have to do is take your back foot and take a step. That's it, that's an action step. Now, on the other side. One step, that's it. If your hands are on your cheeks, that makes it an action step. Just like that. Now, if I turn this way, you can watch me go to the side just like this. My back foot takes a step. My back foot takes a step. I take an action step. Action step. Just like that, okay? Let's practice some action steps. We're gonna do four action steps. So, get into your action stance. Say, action step. Action step. Action step. I think my head's gonna come off screen now. Action step, that's all right. Woo, I'm back. Now let's do it again. I'm gonna walk this way this time, okay? Action step. Action step. Action step, action step. Very good, you guys are looking tough, okay? So now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna kick in the middle of our step. Right when we start to step, we're gonna go push kick, and then look, I'm just gonna take that foot and take a step. Now I'm ready to do it again on the other side. So I'm gonna start to take a step and then I'm gonna go push kick, and then finish my step. Super easy, all right? I'm gonna have to do these sideways so you can see how I take my step. Let's do them together like a team. Get into your action stance. Take a look at your feet. Whatever foot is in the back is gonna be the kicking foot. You're gonna pick it up and give me a push kick and say, push kick, step, just like that. Now you're gonna take your other foot, say, push kick, Step, whoa. Now you wanna to try to keep your balance. Watch how I throw my push kick and then it takes me a second for my step. 
push kick step. Oh, that's pretty good ninja bounce. That's not bad for an old dude. Pretty good. Push kick step. Now I'm just going to turn around so I can do it all the way back. Push kick step. Push kick step. Push kick step. And one more time. Push kick step. That was awesome. That is a back leg or a rear leg push kick. And we would call this down the deck. Like you were on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean, hanging out, and the top of the deck of the cruise ship, well, the top of the cruise ship is called the deck. And imagine you started on one side and you did push kicks all the way from one side of the ship all the way to the other like you're going down the deck. We call that down the deck. Now, are you ready for this? We're gonna do a plank, and then I'm gonna blow your mind with my back leg push kick. You ready? Here we go. Let's go back to our plank. Now, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the low plank. So when you do your plank on your hands like this, it's called a high plank. Now what I'm gonna do is just take my hands and I'm gonna go down to my elbows. Now look, don't be lazy with your feet on the floor. This isn't an exercise, it's just hanging out. Man, we're not hanging out, we're exercising getting tough. So get that belly up in the air and don't have it too high. You want it to be as flat as a board. We're gonna hold this plank on our elbows and on our tippy toes for 10 whole seconds and count to 10, sir, like a team. So get those elbows on the ground, get those tippy toes on the ground. If your ground is super duper hard and it hurts your elbows, you can use a pillow like this. Look, right on the elbows, right there. All right, we're gonna hold this plank to 10, sir. Ready, set, go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Woo! That's tough. You guys are looking great. All right. So we did some front leg kicks, both stances. Then we did some action steps. And then we even added our kick to our action step. And we learned that we call that kicking down the deck. Let's try one more back leg kick. This time, instead of kicking and stepping, we're gonna kick, but then we're gonna put our foot right back in the same spot where it started. This is called a kick and return, or we would refer to this as a static kick. Static just means no motion, standing still. You already did a bunch of static kicks today. All of our front leg kicks are static kicks because I kick, but I don't go anywhere. I stay right here. Boop. That's a static kick. That's a static kick. These are static punches. Now, if you start to kick and move, that's not static anymore. So watch this, I'm gonna turn sideways, facing this way. I'm gonna kick and return. My foot kicks and goes right back to where it came from. Kick and return. Kick and return. One more time, just like that. Super easy, okay? So let's practice some push kicks. We're gonna kick and return, just like that. Let's do 10 of them. Get into your action stance, take your back foot, say, kick and return. Say, kick and return. Kick and return. Kick and return. Kick and return. Six. Kick and return. Kick and return. Kick and return. Niner. Kick and return and Moose ears, big number 10, hands up, Kia! Switch your feet. 10 on this side, kick and return. Kick and return. Kick and return. 
Kick and return. Kick and return. Kick and return. Kick and return. Bonus points if you're keeping your hands up. Kick and return. Last one, Moose Ears, Big Strong Ten, Rocky and Bullwinkle, Kia! Kick and return. Awesome job. Looking tough. Who's feeling super extra bonus strong super duper ah, muscly you feeling muscly i hope so walking plank walking plank feet opened up starting in a high plank dropping to a low plank climbing to a high plank Dropping to a low plank, never letting our belly touch the ground. Watch, I'm gonna do two, two times. I'm gonna do it facing you, and I'm gonna do it sideways so you can see. I'm facing you, feet, hands, watch. Elbow, elbow, that's going down. And then climbing back up, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Now watch, I'll turn sideways. My belly never drops to the floor, back, Flat the whole time. Ready? Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. If you got a hard floor, put the pillow in the middle. When you do the part on your hands, put your hands on the floor. When you do the part to the elbows, put your elbows on the pillow. Hands, elbows. Who's feeling strong? Let's try it. Hands up, wait, not hands up on our cheeks. Hands on the floor, feet strong. Plank up nice and high, ready, down. Elbow, elbow, and up, hand, hand. Down, elbow, elbow, up, hand, hand. Down, elbow, elbow, up, hand, hand. One more time, down, elbow, elbow, and up. Hand, hand, and shake it loose. Oh my goodness. It's almost time, coconuts. Almost time to bring our parents out. If you have a parent that can come help you, they're gonna wanna have a pillow or a pad that they can use. If you don't have a parent that can come help you, maybe you have a pad like this or a bag, sweet. If you don't have a bag, you don't have a parent that can help you, that's okay. You can practice in the air, just like we did. We're gonna do some back leg kicks with our partner. Super easy. We're gonna start with the push kick. So, for our partners, all we have to do is hold on to the pillow. Make sure we're protecting our fingers. Get your fingers out of there. I'm a big fan, since it's just a pillow, of just grabbing it with a bear paw and just squeezing it. Just like that. And then I just use that. Boom, boom. Let them kick that thing right there like that. Now, if you don't have a partner, you can always kick just like we did, right at the air. We're gonna work on our kick and return. If you have a bag, you can use the bag. I'm gonna wheel it over so you can see it a little better. So I can stand right in the middle. Here we go. Last part of class, baby. Get into your stance. It doesn't matter which stance, because we're gonna do both. Whatever foot is in the back, that's the foot you're gonna kick with. Now, just because you're kicking doesn't mean you get to do whatever you want with your hands. You gotta keep them up on your cheeks the whole time. You're gonna look at your partner, at your bag, or at the camera. You're gonna pick up your back leg for a push kick and bring it back. Hit that pad or that pillow or that big bag, push kick, and then bring it back. Let's do it four more times, ready? One, push kick, bring it back. Two, push kick, bring it back. Three, push kick, bring it back. Four, push kick, bring it back. Switch your feet. Other leg. One, two, push kick, bring it back. Three, push kick, bring it back. Four, push kick, bring it back. Five, push kick, bring it back. That's pretty good. Last set, the round kick. This one gets just a little tricky. I'm gonna use my back leg. So I gotta take my front leg and I gotta turn it a little bit. And when I kick, that foot's gonna turn the rest of the way. It's called the round kick. 
just like that. Parents, partners, instead of holding the pad in front of you, just turn it to the side and move your body out of the way a little bit and let them kick it with the side. We want them to kick with their whole leg bone, not just their foot. You'll see my leg, boom, right up there, not just the foot, okay? Hands on the cheeks, let's do five round kicks with our back leg. Parents, partners, be careful, sometimes the long leg comes, so keep your eyes peeled. Hands on your cheeks, ready? Back leg, say, round kick, and return. Round kick, and return. Three more. Round kick, and return. Two more. Round kick, and the last one. Round kick. Switch your feet. Kia. Other leg. Parents turn to the other side. Round kick and return. 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 Kick and return. Beautiful. Feet together like this. Hands to the side. Sir. Bow for respect. Guys did a good job. You're looking tough. Everybody's working hard today. Last thing I want to leave you with, just a little bit of advice for you. And it's one of our really important words that we put on the wall because it's so important. The word is sportsmanship. Sportsmanship means trying your best, following all the rules, always trying to win the game, and being happy no matter what. You're not always gonna win. There's gonna be a lot of times that you don't win. Most of the games that you play can only have one winner. And guess what? It's not always gonna be you. So sometimes you can't think about you. You gotta think about the feelings of other people. If somebody else wins the game, don't you think that they deserve a one to you rock? Don't you think they deserve somebody telling them they did a good job? I do. When you win the game, don't you want somebody to tell you that you did a good job? I do. So here's the deal. If you win, you should be proud of yourself and you should be happy. But if you don't win, you should be proud of the person that won and you should try to make them feel happy. That is good sportsmanship. Whew. All right, coconuts, you did a good class today. Let's finish it out the way we always do. Make those feet touch all the way together. Put your hands to the sides and give me a sir and a bow for respect. Good work, everybody.